and welcome back to RC Icons. That's right. He did it. He finished it. So if you didn't see the unboxing video of the Grand Hauler, go back and, I don't know, it was probably two months ago. I had brought in two kits, one for me and one for my 12-year-old son, Caleb. It was a rite of passage, so to speak, and I, th I think I actually put that Caleb's rite of passage was the title or whatever of that video. 12 years old, he built his first semi-truck, and the thing came out awesome. So I had expressed in that video whether or not you guys wanted to see the build, and of course, you all did. So Caleb's had a couple of builds on the channel over the last year and a half. He did a Terror Conqueror, he did a Blitzer Beetle. He's built quite a few cars, um, more off-channel than on, but this was definitely one that at least I wanted to document and get on the channel, just so that we could go back and watch it later in life, right? First semi-truck for a 12-year-old, I mean, I think that's absolutely insane. There's so much work to them. Um, they're not hard, but there's a ton. It just takes time. It's a ton of work. So he did this 100%. I didn't help him at all. I answered questions. I gave him suggestions, but he did all of the paint. He did the chassis. He did the whole nine yards, and you'll see when I bring the camera over he really did do a really nice job. Two-tone flame job with the custom paint. Um, he didn't do an MFC only because Caleb worked for this. Uh, he does run equipment. You guys have seen that in the track videos. When he does work with me, I pay him. So he saved the money to buy this kit. Um, if you guys have ever bought in a semi-truck, you know how expensive it is. And to add another 250 for an MFC at this particular moment, it was just not uh, not something he wanted to do. He w he opted to buy his trailer instead, which I think he paid 70 for on buy -E or 80. Um, and he said, you know, he can always put an MFC in later, or put a cheap light kit and sound kit and S Dual or whatever. Um, so it wasn't something he wanted to do at this particular moment. And I'll be honest, it's probably not the last truck he builds. <laughs> Because he's like me, he loves doing it, he loves actually building them. So let me bring the camera over and I'll show you the truck. And then uh, it's basically going to be like his other builds where it's um, just a compilation of pictures. And I'll narrate it and then uh, I'll bring you back at the end for a closing. But yeah, let me bring the camera over so that we can take a look at this thing real quick up close uh, before we get into the actual build process. Boom. Look at that thing. There's nothing like having a semi-truck in front of you. If you've never built one or seen one in the flesh, they are impressive models. They're absolutely insane. Um, and they are a ton of work. So Caleb hammered this out probably two months. He had the chassis done in like three weeks, and then the paint slowed him down. But, I mean, when you see the paint, you'll see why. So the fenders... It's a black going in, fading into a green. Let's see if I can get this in camera without dropping it. So it's a black fading into that metallic green. And then he followed that through on the doors and in the front. He did a tribal flame on the hood and also on the roof. And then obviously the other side matches. Right? So just coming up and laying over the fenders. So no upgrades to speak of. There's still the plastic horns. Um, Tamiya does have in stock again. I know I've got a couple sets here that just came in. Of course, I don't know what I did with them. Right here. They do have in stock again the metal horns. So you can buy the metal horns and put them in place. Uh, I saw that they were in stock, so I got a couple of sets for some of my trucks. But yeah, not even the metal horns, nothing. He uh, he elected to just build the truck just the way it was. He just wanted to do custom paint. So he did do, I think, a 50 turn. I think he's got a 50 turn motor in it. And he's got he's running a 1060, Hobbywing 1060. I mean, it's that, it's that simple. He could, have done, he could have done a cheap light kit if he wanted to, but he really just elected not to. Um, he didn't put the driver figure in. The drive, the uh, cockpit is just blacked out. The windows are still clear, but when you look inside, 
everything is black steering wheels black for him it was more about just being simple he really took his time on the paint and you'll see that in the pictures um i had some air airbrushing stencils um that he taped up laid down so first he i believe i'm trying to think of how he did it i think he laid the green on first and then he spritzed the black in certain areas and then he put the beak that then he taped it put the airbrush stencil down traced that cut the tape out unmasked the section other than the actual graphics and then sprayed the whole thing blue and then cleared it so there was actually a lot of work just in the paint alone and then he painted everything inside and out uh, I'm not sure if he took mold lines off I don't know if he got that crazy with it I did explain to him what the mold lines were and I don't I don't know he you know it's he's a 12 year old right he's he wants to build it, but he doesn't want to go crazy with the time aspect. He's got to play Fortnite too, you know. So he's got to, he's got to, <laughs> he's got to uh, manage his time. But I think the thing just came out absolutely stellar, um, and I'm super proud of him. So this is a runner for him. Uh, at some point, we'll probably see a running video on the channel of him running the loader in this, and the whole intention is to, so that he can do like a loading wars or loading kings kind of aspect that was a show that medic had done years ago on his channel where they have like a loading dock scenario and they're loading and unloading a trailer and caleb loved that show has seen every episode seven times and that's what kind of spurred this he wants to be able to do that in the driveway in the garage wherever kind of set that scenario up and uh and who am i to say no so yeah, he saved for it, he built it, and uh, and that's it. So I'm going to uh, kick off and we'll get into the build, and uh, I'll bring you back for a closing here at the end. So as he gets started with the build, as always, he gets everything laid out and ready to go. Immediately with a semi-truck, you get into getting your servos set up. It's step one on any, on any uh, semi-truck. Always starts with the servos. Once the servos are done, you start bolting one side of everything, cross members to the frame rail, and then he gets the other frame rail bolted up to start the chassis process itself. So in this picture, you can see he's got his front end on. Um, pretty simple to put that together. And uh, as he's finishing up the front end, he starts get moving forward and getting his rear end put together. You can see in this next picture that the axle or the drive shaft is straight. Well, anyone that's built a semi truck knows it needs to be offset, like in this picture. Sometimes you learn your lessons the hard way. Uh, if the axle's straight, uh, the wheels oppose each other and the truck won't run. As soon as that was done, he immediately got into that three speed transmission with his 80 turn motor, tested it with the C battery, and then uh, just a matter of getting wheels and tires mounted for the most part. And then he's got a rolling chassis. As he's wrapping up the chassis with the detail pieces, the fuel tanks, and the, se the steps, he starts thinking about his paint. Gets his primer work done and immediately goes into the green. Um, I think that's just a metallic green that he did. And then he faded some black in. Um, this is all in preparation for the graphics. So here you can see he's getting his graphics laid out. He just used airbrush stencils to trace, um, did a tribal on the roof and on the hood, and then he carried through with flames running down the side of the truck and on the fenders. So after he got the flames uh, laid out on the masking tape, then he had to cut all around the flames and peel back um, everything that was not getting painted or was getting painted blue. So here you can see the body uh, getting ready for the blue paint. Um, I honestly think for a 12-year-old, he did an unbelievable job. I just kind of told him how to do it, and he went through the process himself. So this is the truck after the blue went on and the masking tape is off. Uh, I think at that point he was clearing it, and then it was a matter of making sure everything fit before he started to assemble the actual body itself. So this is the truck um starting to get some assembly work done uh you can see he's starting to put the handrails on he's getting air cleaners on he's getting his mirrors on uh and that's when the truck really kind of comes to life here it is with the grill in place the air cleaners and the exhaust starting to take shape once he uh 
once he got those parts on, all that was left really was the visor. Um, here he is mounting the fenders on the back. There it is with the stacks. And then all he has left is the visor to put on for the final touch. Um, and that absolutely just makes the truck in the end. One more picture of it without the visor. Um, last step here. And there it is with the visor and wipers on. So yeah, it really just kind of came together in the end. If you ask me, it's just a beautiful truck as as a kit, but Caleb just took it one step further with the graphics, and it really just came out nice. So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. You'll have to let him know. So, yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the build. Um, show Caleb some love in the comments. Let him know what you think. He'll be reading them for sure. Uh, just an absolutely epic time for, for me as a father, spending that time with my son. He His bench is like right next to me in the studio. So unfortunately, I've been working on financial statements and this and that as far as my companies go while he was doing the build. But at the same time, it was great to just kind of be watching him hammer through it. And to be honest, I had to, I had to actually really stay on top of taking pictures because he was <laughs> he was flying right through the chassis um the transmission everything he just he didn't have any issues he, it was like he had done it before you know it, it really was um not a complicated situation for him he just followed the directions pulled out the parts asked questions when he needed to and hammered right through it so yeah show him some love in the comments let him know what you think um if you're not already a subscriber, I'd ask you to consider subscribing to support the channel. Um, finally, a non-unboxing video, but we've got we're we're kind of winding out of this scenario that I'm in, and uh, the channel is going to come out in the spring here in full force. So, looking forward to that. But yeah, let me know um, in the comments what you think. Thumbs up, thumbs down, typical stuff. And until next time, we'll see you soon. Thanks.